Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Fable the Lost Chapters Part 7 with your host as always, Madurai Bread. Where we last left off, we're about to do the chicken kicking episode. Hey, a hero, uh, can you uh, help me out? Oh, a hero! I could really use your help, sir. I run a harmless little chicken contest down on the beach, but I'm having a bit of ghost trouble. Some deceased chicken fancier, no doubt. The thing is, he's scaring all my punters away. You couldn't, you know, work some of your hero magic and get rid of him, could you? I can do that. So apparently there's a ghost haunting the, uh, the normal chicken kicking spot. So let's go have a talk with him, but first... There's loot. Again, free loot doesn't count as stealing. Oak crossbow. Again, I don't really like crossbows, so I'll just be selling it. Ah, <laughs> at long last, a kind soul who doesn't flee at the sight of me. I have paced this forsaken beach for so many years. Could it be that you be sent by the gods to lift me from my fierce torment? Sure. My spirit dwells at the bottom of the sea. Ah, and my poor wife is left a destitute and a grieving. Ah. She thinks I was but a simple fisherman, and still be somewhere lost at sea. It may shock you to learn, dear friend, that I had a small side business in piracy. Ah! I hid my sinfully plundered treasure next to the jetty on the western beach. If you want to use a spade to dig it up and give it my wife, I will reward you with plentiful riches, ye old sea dog. Uh, no voice acting for that line, apparently. But we already bought a spade. Let's see if I can remember exactly where it is. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Also, I noticed how he kept saying Yar, but the subtitle said Gar. I don't know. Oh, forgot about this loot. Man, we're really piling up the resurrection files. We've got, uh... Seven of nine. Once we get to nine, I'm probably going to sell a few just so when I pick more up, they don't just dematerialize. So it should be... He said it was by the old jetty. I believe it's actually uh, on the left side here. Just down here? Yep, shovel icons appearing for F1. That's a huge spade. And that's the treasure, so let's go give it to his wife. Who just sits out here for the whole game. Until you, uh, do this quest, that is. Such a <gasps> Oh my goodness. This is from my husband. You say he saved it up by taking Taurus out on his boat? <laughs> well, yes, I, I do remember seeing him take people on board. Well, they looked like bandits from a distance. <laughs> Isn't that silly? I knew he really cared for me. He was such a good, honest man. Thank you so much. I will still pray to see him return safe one day. Right after I've done some shopping. I like all those moments where it just cuts back to your hero for like a facial reaction, but he's a silent protagonist so he just kind of shrugs. I don't know why I always get a kick out of that. He always has like this open mouth idiot look. It's like he can't even like process what's going on. Also, you see those tiny little hearts budding? Those are people who have a crush on us. You see, we're starting to get a little bit more renown. You got rid of that ghost yet? Not yet. Calm yourself. Just gotta go talk to the ghost. Avast! You've been a trusty sea dog, ye have. Uh, perchance now I can finally enjoy my death. But before I leave, I shall keep my end of the bargain. Arr! The rest of the swag be buried under the axe of a statue in the local graveyard. If it still be there, you're welcome to it. Now, thank ye, and goodbye. There is actually a lot of loot you can get in the graveyard with a spade. 
So uh, I'll be showing that in a minute. Have you got rid of him yet? You have? Why, capital news. Come down and pay me and the chickens a visit if you like. All right. Well, now we go to the graveyard, which is just up here. Memorial Garden. So to fight beside you. Oh, and here is Hawks the bodyguard. You can hire him to follow you around and fight alongside you. Can I dig here? Yes, I can. Well, that makes up for the gold we just used. Now, there's a lot to dig here, so... It may take a minute. First of all, they said under the axe. So, right here. Uh, who's this a statue to exactly? Does this. Can I read it? I don't think I can read it. Hard to get a good view, but it kind of looks like her father, doesn't it? Silver key and an obsidian great axe. A major upgrade. Oh, and a uh, bunch of renown and gold for doing the quest. This should be a major upgrade. Yeah, look at that. Major upgrade, but we need one more physique before we can wield it. So, just walk on to every single grave, and you look for the F1 icon to see if it pops up, and that's how you know if you can basically grave rob it, which surprisingly I don't think gives you evil points. You'd think stealing from the dead would. Oh. There's one here. Health potion. Who buries a health potion with their dead? This seems to be kind of mocking them to me. I'm sure all these tombstones say funny things, but right now my priority is looking for loot. I remember there being a lot more stuff to dig here. But I'm not seeing the icon very much. It might be I just have to equip my spade and use it around. And it's just highlighting the important stuff. Golden carrot that instantly makes it daytime. And uh, did I already check around here? I don't feel like I did. None of those. And none of those. Okay. So uh, if you guys are playing home, no, uh, playing at home along with me, you guys know not to check any of those graves. So I'm just gonna dodge roll back into Oakvale. And now that we have that whole quest done, let's go kick some chickens. Should be just down this hill? He's already got it set up, does he? Yes, he does. Now, I don't know how well I'll do in this minigame just because i got such low physique that I can't kick chickens very far. Game of... Ah, welcome, sir. Welcome. Might you be interested in a fine new sport? I call it chicken kicking. Invented it myself. All you gotta do is step into the ring and kick the feathery vermin into the scoring area. Ho oh, ho, it's easy. Now, my eyesight ain't what it used to be, but I can usually make out where they land. <laughs> Wanna give it a try? Yes. If you could leave your weapon, sir, and no spells allowed either. Wouldn't be very sporting now, would it? But only chickens, you know. Then we shall get started. Good luck, sir. I have a lot of fun with this game. Although it's been a long time since I played it, you gotta get a real running start and just punt it. Ugh. A bit of a weakling. Front right for what? 25 points. No, that landed on the 50. Oh, that's bullshit. I can't get max score now. Ah, not bad. A center left scores you 50. I, that was... You saw it. You saw it. 50. The silver medal position. A center left scores you 50. No, I'm just gonna keep aiming for that one. I don't trust the right one. Ah, not bad. A center left scores you 50. 
You can just shut up with your not bad stuff. You cheated me out of that. Well, it's better than nothing. It's on the 50! It's points. on the 50! 200. No, I got 250. Shut up. Oh, you can just shut right up. And 250 was the grand prize. Once I've got higher physique, I'm coming back. Now, how many of these keys do I have now? Five silver keys, that's enough to open a certain chest that I happen to know where it is. So I'm just gonna skip ahead to me opening that. Almost forgot fishing spot right over here. I'll see what we get. Come on, silver keys. I want all the silver keys, I want really good loot. I want to get all the fancy weapons. I like being a real collector in these games. Oh, come on, this fish is annoying. Come on. Ages of Skill Potion. The Ages uh, potions are very good, where they give you a thousand experience in whatever category it's of. However, uh, if you drink it with a combat multiplier, it'll multiply by that multiplier. So I'm going to wait till I have a really high multiplier before I drink it. Here we are at uh, Great Wood Lake. Oh, Bandit. And right here is the five key chest. Remember, the, key the keys aren't actually expended. Elixir of Life. I believe that's a permanent health bar increase. Yep, might as well use it now. Health bar is now longer than will. Wow! And before we end the episode, let's go back to the Heroes Guild. Do our stats. Hopefully we have enough experience for some more physique, although we didn't get much experience this episode. Oh, we do have enough. So we can use that uh, great sword now. Or that great axe. And I want more speed. Got four speed, four out of seven. We're more than halfway there. And will don't have enough for more magic power, then I don't want to spend it on anything. No, I can't afford life. Okay. Looking a little bit bulkier with that physique. We are now 28. Recognized hunter called Liberator. All right. So, on the next episode, you remember back in episode two or three, I think it was three, where there's that child who had the blue mushrooms, we need to collect some blue mushrooms to make a cure? Well, we're going to be doing that side quest. The whole episode will be that side quest, because it is a bit of a long one. So, until next time, have a nice day.